This is my job now. This is actually what I do. For 28 years I've been doing this. And uh, people ask, you know, what'd you do before you got into comedy? Don't want to brag, but I was a manager at a 7-Eleven. Did you hear me? Manager. <laughs> and I was impressed. I'm telling you, I uh, was uh, cocky. I was 19 years old, fresh out of GED. You know, <laughs> ready to take the world by storm. And got to work and found out I was the only guy there. I was in charge of a crew of one. But I had a uniform. Are you familiar with the 7 Eleven? The little smock they make you wear with a bunch of 7s and 11s on it? That's right. I was in charge of me. I had to fire myself after a month. I, I didn't like my attitude. And I caught myself stealing a few times. I, I denied it, but I saw myself. So I ended up getting in an argument with my, I hit myself in the head with a flashlight. I sued 7-Eleven, by the way. It was their manager that hit me in the head with a flashlight. I'm not a lawyer, but I felt it could have been a precedent-setting case. I worked the graveyard shift, 11 p.m. to 7 a.m. They call it graveyard because people buying groceries at 3 a.m. are pretty much embalmed. They're leaving bars at 2 a.m. looking for food. And they come in like Night of the Living Dead. Hey, smock man. Where are you keeping the spaghetti <laughs> Hey, there's only three aisles. Why don't you and your Menza friends try to put that one together for yourself? <laughs> I think it was my attitude that got me employee of the month. Because <laughs> I would smile. And they'd walk over with a can of death, like spaghetti and start walking towards the microwave. And you would tell yourself, nobody could be that ignorant as to put a can into a microwave. After dealing with the public for 30 years, I have to tell you, the depths of ignorance in America never cease to amaze me. Not only did they put the can into the microwave and fire that baby up, they stared through the window. <laughs> Sparks! And it's like <laughs> smoking. You gotta know someone's three blocks away with a pacemaker. Man, they're cooking another can. <laughs> I hate this neighborhood. And people steal, they shoplift. I don't care, it's not mine. But don't insult me. They put Twinkies in their pants and they'd walk around pretending to shop. <laughs> Cellophane is not quiet, have you heard it? <laughs> They're like a walking bag of potato chips. <laughs> so I'd call them over, could you come here for a minute? What, 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 what? Come here, man, what is it? What, what is that? What, what, this, here. 